Hello my beautiful friends, how are you? Today's video is about PDF files. How you can edit or create your own PDF files professionally. How you can edit or add text into the PDF files, edit or add images, create different shapes or designs, or if you want to create your own book, document, company profile, business cards, or anything else in the PDF format. So in this video, I will show you how you can do it. If you search on the internet, you will find a lot of PDF editors softwares to create or edit the PDF files. But the best one is Wondershare PDF Element. I am also personally using this software for editing PDF files. It's very easy to use with user-friendly interface. The PDF Element is a complete PDF solution for professionals. PDF Elements contains a lot of features which I will show you in this video. So this PDF element is the best option for you guys if you want to edit any kind of PDF files, create your own professional PDF files with containing beautiful designs, images, text, shapes and all that. It's a full complete solution for you if you want to edit or make your own PDF documents. The PDF element is available in Windows and Mac and you can also install it in your smartphone, Android or iPhone. But obviously PDF element on smartphone contains limited features. Anyways, go get it, download and install it in your devices. You will find the link in the description of this video. Alright, so let's jump into the PDF element and check it out. So this is the main interface of the software. I will try to show you all the features in it, I'll try to make it quick uh, to not make a long video. So here we have the recent opened files on the left. You can clear it by tapping on this brush button and this is the create button to create a new PDF document and this is convert option to convert the PDF files into other file formats such as Excel, PowerPoint and other ones. And here batch process, it is also useful if you want to edit, convert PDF files in bulk. Next we have the combined PDF option to convert a lot of PDF files into one PDF file. And here we have the PDF template option. This is the most amazing feature in this software. Uh, we have thousands of free templates are available which we can use for creating our document. I will show you this feature in detail um, later in this video. So we also have a scanner option here. If you have connected any scanner with your computer, uh, you can scan the document directly from this option. Alright, let's open any of the PDF file and let's try to edit it. Alright, I have downloaded some PDF files from the internet to show you guys that how we can edit any kind of PDF document in this PDF element. So here we have the PDF file opened. Let me first introduce some of the tools which we have here to edit or modify the document. Here we have the zoom option to zoom in or zoom out. Uh, you can use these plus minus keys to add just the zoom. Uh, you can also use these buttons to adjust the width and uh, zoom automatically. And next in the view tab, uh, that's the same options uh, which we have in the home tab. Uh, from this place you can go to the next page. And these are the options to change the view style of the page so you can check this out. Let's come into the Convert tab. Let me introduce its features and then we will going to edit the PDF. It is the OCR option. If you have an image containing a lot of text or images, so you can use this OCR option to detect the text from the picture and convert it to the PDF or edit the text from the image. So this is an amazing feature. I'll show you how to use it later in this video. So let's go ahead. Next we have the optimized PDF option to reduce the file size of any PDF document. If you have a PDF file with a bigger file size, you can reduce its file size using this option. It's a useful feature. And next we have options to convert the PDF files into the Word, Excel, PowerPoint file format or convert the PDF document file into the images or text files. So now the video starts. Now we will going to start edit the PDF file. Just come into the edit tab on the top to start editing this document. Here we have different useful editing features. You can add image into the document, add text, 
you can add link uh, here we have a little icons this is the hand tool to scroll through the pages by clicking and holding the mouse button on the document uh, that's the hand tool for panning around the document and you can see and this is the pointer option for selecting the text and images uh, you cannot edit text or image using this tool for editing the PDF file uh, you need to select this tool this tool will allow you to choose select anything in the PDF document to edit it or delete it whether it is text shapes images watermark background you can edit anything in the PDF file using this tool if you want to change the text just select your text uh, put the pointer on the place you want to edit the text or select the text you want to edit now you can go ahead and start typing the text it is very simple user-friendly software you can change the font style make it bold italic underline it you can change the font size make it bigger smaller whatever you like and uh, you can change the fonts uh, here we have the list you can choose different type of font style here uh, just like that you can make uh, the text align it to the center on the left or right as you like uh, you can do a lot of stuff using it uh, you don't need to be an expert to do this everybody can use this software to edit things but you just need a tricky mind anyways if you want to add some more text into the document just tap on add text button on the top click on the place you want to add text and that's it you can place the text anywhere you want it's very simple and easy you can see it looks good here right uh, here we have image option to add images into our document uh, let's try add some images after adding the image you will see the small little dots on the corner of the images these are the points to resize the image just click and hold on these points and move your mouse to resize uh, the image because it's showing bigger so you can add just its size you can edit everything you want in the document it's very simple tool i think you don't need to learn it uh, just play with the tools so i think this looks nice here pretty cool let's add some more images uh, you need to resize the image every time you add it uh, you can also add new texts change it fonts style color and all that resize it just like that you can see it looks nice it looks nice you can see I have added some text and images into the document into the PDF document just like that you can add more stuff or edit them you can also add a link into the document first uh, let's add some text into the document and all right uh, select it change the style of it if you want uh, change the color whatever and put it on the right place that looks good and now tap on the link button right here and now select the area you want to make it a link so then if anyone click on that area it will going to open that web page you need to type web address here you can add the website link so that's it let me show you that we can also edit the shapes or logos in the documents you can delete by tapping on the delete key on the keyboard you can design or create your own shapes into the document
also add a background if you want and you can change the background color of the whole document or also add a background image uh, let's leave it and here we have the header and footer option to add a date or page numbers or anything else on the document on the top or bottom uh, if you want to add the pages numbers into the document so this is used to add the pages numbers on the top or bottom of the page as you can see the numbers of the document pages have added on the left top corner it looks good so next we have very interesting tools this section is for designing the document so this section let you design and create different types of shapes into your document you can also highlight the text uh, you can also use Control Z uh, to undo your actions on the keyboard or you can also use this button on the top to undo your recent changes to the document and here we have some more tools to underline the text and all that uh, let's leave it next we have the shapes basically this is great feature if you want to design the custom shapes uh, let's try to do some uh, as you can see this shape uh, let's delete it and create our own shape you can see Uh, so you can see if you are a good designer you can use these tools to design the document <laughs> but actually I am not good at it and here next we have some more tools to design our document you can add sticky knots at line of text insert a call out uh, add text into the call out and it has different types of tools you can check all of these here we have the stamp tools to add the stamps into our PDF files here we have different types of stamps you can add into the document these are useful when you create business profiles or invoices uh, you can check it out uh, next we have the page options here you will see all of your PDF documents pages uh, you can change the numbers of pages uh, you can change the pages location and rotate it to the left right if you want or delete any of the page if you want we have extract feature also to just extract the specific number of pages from the document and save it to the pdf and here we have a split feature to split a single pdf document into multiple pdf files i can't actually show you all the features because it will take a lot of time you can check all of these features i just don't want to make a long video i just want to show you just major things uh, useful features in it and trying to make the video short next we have the form option this is very very useful if you want to create forms or data charts if you are creating business profiles invoices and reports so this form section in the pdf element software will be useful for you i hope so or if you want to fill up any kind of form so it also helps us for that uh, basically this is form uh, this is a form but i cannot fill up text in these boxes as you can see so to fill up text into these boxes pdf element comes up with this form recognition tool to automatically detect the form boxes and help us to fill it up by creating the interactive fields you can see now it has converted the, those empty boxes into the edit table text fields now you can edit them and add your own text here And here we have some more useful tools you can add check boxes text fields so you can check these features I cannot show you everything in the video there are a lot of stuff here uh, next we have the protect tab for the protection of our document you can set the passcode to your PDF file so then no one will going to edit and see your PDF file without the password you can also digitally sign your document and 
you can also add a signature field uh, anyways in the share tab you can directly share the document you can directly email it from here send it to dropbox or google drive uh, so now i'm gonna show you an amazing feature guys and that is very useful it is ocr what it does is convert the image into the editable document pdf like you can see i have this web page screenshot uh, it's the screenshot of wikipedia but i cannot edit the text or the images in the screenshot because it's just an image it's not a document so if you have an image which contains a lot of text and you want to edit them or copy them you can use OCR function in the PDF element for that let me show you how it works just open the image file with the PDF element uh, you can see the file has opened and I cannot change anything in the image I cannot change the text the images now to make it editable we're gonna use the OCR function to recognize uh, the this image uh, as a searchable and editable text tap on no button and now tap on ok button pretty cool you can see guys uh, now that image has converted into the editable document file you can edit the text easily now uh, you can see it's a very nice and impressive feature so now you can also select the text into the document and copy it to your notepad if you want or anywhere else uh, if you want i think this option is great for me because most of the time i need it when i have to copy the text from the image and it takes a long time to write the text uh, so this is a very good thing that now we can copy it directly from the image and the great thing is you can also edit the images or shapes here you can see we have a full control on that image which the OCR function have converted it into the document. Pretty cool. Last but not least, next I also want to show you something very interesting feature in the PDF element here. We have the PDF templates. Here are the templates for all kinds of documents. You, you don't have to work hard to create your own document. Uh, to create the document yourself so if you want to create invoices company profile business cards magazines books or anything else just search here and now you choose the one you like and tap on this arrow icon to open it up to edit it you can see it's the template of the invoice i don't need to make it design it and may waste my time uh, i can just edit the template and save it to my pc send it online um, so this is it guys that is the pdf element so i hope you like this video and there are a lot of features there in the pdf element that i did not show you because i don't want to make a long video so you can play with the pdf element features and explore all of it all the features the main purpose of this video is to show you guys that the wondershare pdf element is the best professional software to edit or create the pdf files you can find the direct download links uh, of it in the description of this video anyways guys see you later in the next video peace